Hey guys, it's Irish Pride, and I was watching a few videos recently, and I have to get this off my chest. This will be my first uh, anti-bullying blog uh, video, and it'll probably be my only one. If I see too much of it, then I'll just make another one. Anyways, <laughs> bullying is well, it's not right. Being a victim of it myself, I know that. Um, fuck this. Like, uh, how do I do this? Bullying comes in different ways face to face, physical, mental. Social network, virtual, even on online games, that happens. It can be for the stupidest fucking reasons. If not being racist or homophobic or anything like that, but if someone's gay, they get bullied. Confused, they get bullied. Lesbian, they get bullied. Bisexual, they get bullied. Basically, if they're n anything but straight, they get bullied. And the same as they're anything but white. It's fucking stupid, so it is. Like me personally, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I'd, I'd be friendly with everyone. Hell, um. I think some of my friends are even gay. Like, and I don't, I don't really, I don't really care. There's still my friends at the end of the day, and the way they get treated is not right. I never, I never thought I'd be making a video like this, but I'm just fucking disgusted by the way people would be treated nowadays. Like, like they'd be told you're not good enough, you would never amount to anything. And the sad thing is if people keep getting told that they'll eventually start believing it. Yeah, I was a victim of bullying myself both ways. One of them reconciled with me as he thought the shit I was going through was just too much and it wasn't right. I kind of figured he reconciled because he just stopped. But he didn't do anything to stop it either. Turned out I actually really got along with him. The other two I didn't even bother. They hated me through and through. <laughs> I couldn't care less though. Eventually, I got went to cyber by two other people, <laughs> which is the cousin of one of my friends. And that didn't pan out well for him. The other was, well, I'm just going to use the term peer pressure. But yeah, he, he apologized, said he was sorry that he wouldn't do it again. And he hasn't, so that's a good thing. I had one really outrageous negative thought. Then I had a, but I thought about that one, the effects, the consequences. And then I just said, no, 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 I'll talk to someone. The negative thought was I contemplated taking my own life. Because I was bullied in school. I got detention for going to the teachers about it. Nothing was done. I was openly ridiculed in class. And I'd be looking at the teacher like, Are you not going to do anything? I went home feeling like crap every day that every day it happened. Some days I did, 
Most days it did. Some days it didn't. But it still did. But when I heard the Amanda Todd story, I was like, what the hell? How can people be so heartless, so sh cruel? <sighs> Jesus, all, all she needed was a friend. Someone to stand by her. I, I gladly would have done it. And I know it's five years since it happened, but I don't care. She needed support, a friend, and a shoulder to cry on. I would have provided all three. And I'm getting teary eyed here. And, um. Cyberbullying over here in Ireland now is actually considered to be a. Cr it's actually considered to be a crime. People, people in other countries have gone to prison for it. So I assume it'd be the same here. And if any of you were a victim of bullying, or anyone you know was a victim of bullying, comment down below. And if I'm just gonna end it here, guys, because I can't go on anymore without just breaking down. I'm sorry, but <sighs> I'm Irish pride. If you if you've watched the video, please leave a like and uh, sub hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate the the support. I'm Irish Pride and I'll see you all in the next video when I'm in a better mood.